Hey guys, now uh, let us see another modification of the deep fascia of the thigh, namely the saphenous opening. The saphenous opening is an oval shaped opening present in the upper, medial and in front of the thigh. Upper, medial in front of the thigh. It is also called fossa ovalis or called the saphenous hiatus. Saphenous hiatus. So, in order to tell its location perfectly, it is 4 cm below and lateral to the pubic tubercle. 4 cm below and lateral to the pubic tubercle. See, this is the pubic tubercle. This is below and this is lateral. So, 4 cm below and lateral to the pubic tubercle. So, it's a superior, lateral and inferior. This margin is well defined giving it a crescent shaped or called half moon shaped. Crescent ka matlab hota hai half moon or also called the falci form. This is a well defined margin. Hence, it is also called the crescent margin or the falci form margin. This is made up of the superficial stratum and it is present in front of the femoral sheath. And present in front of the femoral sheath. And this is the sorry and this is the medial margin this is a bit ill-defined made up of the deep stratum and with continuous with the fascia covering the pectineus muscle a muscle forming the floor of the femoral triangle and this is present behind the femoral sheath behind the femoral sheath now um, what's happening with this hole so this hole or opening is closed by a membrane of aerolar tissue called the cribriform fascia. Why it's so called cribriform? In Greek, the cribri means pierced, giving a sieve-like appearance. So this uh, fascia, this aerolar tissue is pierced by many structures, giving it a sieve-like opening. Hence, so it is called the cribriform fascia. So now let us see what are the structures piercing and giving it a sieve-like appearance. They are namely the great saphenous vein, superficial epigastric, superficial external parental vessels few lymphatic vessels um, which connect superficial to the deep lymph nodes present in the inguinal region so we have told that uh, this uh, lateral margin medial margin made up of the superficial strata deep strata so how so this is formed how the uh, saphenous opening itself is formed it is actually formed by the twisting of twisting of this fascia later Twisting of the fascia later, it represents two strata, namely the superficial and the deep strata. So the superficial strata will be forming the lateral, I mean infrolateral boundary, and the deeper one will be forming the medial margin. Now, what could be the clinical correlation? The thigh extension. On thigh, what, uh, when it is extended, it pulls the anterior abdominal wall down. We told that this uh, fascia later superiorly attached to the inguinal ligament. So, when the thigh is flexed, it pulls the anterior abdominal wall downward so that it becomes the tense. S1 means uh, the saphenous opening becomes tense. As the fascia later is attached to the inguinal ligament. So, in order to relax the abdomen, in order to palpate this abdominal contents, we ask the patients to pull the leg upwards to overcome the pull of the fascia later on the abdominal wall to overcome the pull of this fascia later on the abdominal wall this is all about the saphenous opening